the right foot, pulls it across, and it's in. The 16-year-old, you couldn't make it up, Jamie. What a great story. Inside the penalty area, goes round the fullback. Good work, pulls it across. Oh, it's 2-1 to Fulham. A couple of minutes of the first half remaining, plus that stoppage time, I guess. Here's uh, Sean Aluko. Can Fulham take the lead now before the break? He's into the penalty area, checks back onto the left foot, onto the right foot, pulls it across, and it's in. 1 0 to Fulham, and it's Ryan Sessignon, the 16 year old. You couldn't make it up, Jamie. What a great story. We had the fairy tale ending last time Cardiff were here. Emerson Hyman scoring for Fulham on his birthday. There's the kid we've just been talking about, Ryan Sessignon, not only now a first teamer, he's a Fulham goal scorer. So that was your first ever goal, obviously. Um, can you imagine the emotions going through your, through your head when that hit the back of the net? <coughs> yeah, um, to get my first goal for Fulham was, was a dream come true, and uh, I think the way the game was going, I, think I just came off the bench and to score just before half time was, was a special feeling to pass in the league. So. Yeah. Yeah, he'd been on pitch three minutes. What had um, what the gaffer said to you when he uh, put you on? Uh, just to go out there and just try to make an impact. I think it was, uh, and yeah, to do it straight away was was a fantastic feeling. Yeah. I think that only a few days after you made your league debut at Leeds as well. So it was a mad, mad week for you, also. Yeah, uh, yeah. To start against Leeds, uh, in a big game that young was a uh, was surreal really, and then to come on and yeah, score against Cardiff was even better. You have family there watching? Uh, I think so, yeah. It was a while ago now, but yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, come on, Kenny, do it now. Here's Tom Kenny through the middle, picks out the run of Ryan Fredericks, right hand side into his path. Inside the penalty area, goes round the full back, good work, pulls it across. Oh, it's 2 1 to Fulham. It hit the bar, I think, initially came back, and it's Ryan Sessignon who's put it in, Jamie, I think. Now, is the referee going across to consult the linesman about what happened here? I think the initial. Shot maybe came off the bar. Ryan Sessignon definitely turned it into the net. And the referee's given the goal. The goal has been given. What they're complaining is whether Ryan Sessignon was offside. offside the ball yeah. did come back off the bar. They're concerned that he was in an offside position. I think he was behind the ball. I think it should be okay. It's going to be given. But Sol Bamba, who's not afraid of controversy, absolutely furious and making his point to the referee. What are your memories of that day? It was, um, it was a weird one. It was a Sunday morning kickoff on in the cup. Yeah, um, I remember there weren't many fans. It was an early early kickoff, so yeah, not too many fans in the stadium. But uh, FA Cup, yeah. Uh, in terms of the goal, I just remember when it came in from Frederick. Fredericks, it was just instinct, really. It just touched me. I went in, so it was just yeah, probably the easiest goal I've scored so far, and probably ever will score. So. And no danger of offside. Nah, definitely offside. Yeah. Being the player you are, with a fox in the box, do your eyes just light up when it drops like that? Yeah, I think definitely in that situation where um, it's really just come out to me when Floyd's just trying to attack and then, you know, just my eyes lit up and I was just, again, right place, right time to, to finish it off. And I think I'll say that's one of my favourite goals because the timing of the game, I think it was no at the time when we just, nobody could score really, we couldn't break them down, they couldn't break us down and um, it was unfortunate we didn't win that game but to score so late on we thought we got all three points and then obviously for them to come back and score was heartbreaking but yeah I think it's up there with one of my favourite goals. So that was quite a frustrating one because we, we battered them I think for 75 minutes or something like that it was, yeah. must be a feeling of relief when you finally hit the net. Yeah like I said uh, we battled well that game it was never going to be easy against the Cardiff side um, but yeah we did well to score but then of course disappointing that we drew the game. Mm. They were they had dropped a point I think at, at that point. Um, did you expect them to? I mean credit to them because they, they stayed up there. Did you expect yeah. them to still be up there at the end of the season? Uh, personally, honestly, I didn't think so. But um, yeah, credit to them. They did well that season and to get promoted 
automatically they done a great job and uh, yeah. That was your first of the season, I suppose. It's always nice to, to get off the mark. That season you were targeting double figures, weren't you? Yeah, uh, I think. W- w- which month was that? that it would have been about maybe early September. Early think. September. So, yeah, t- to get a goal that early in the, in the season was good for me. And of course, I went on to score a lot more goals that season. So, um, yeah, it was good to, to get off the mark. We know you love a poacher's goal, but you had quite a bit to do with that one, didn't you? Yeah, I think with that one, when Rui Fonte played the pass, I didn't think he would play it that early. So when he did, I just had to, I knew I had to get in front of their, their defender to get any chance of a goal scoring opportunity, and that's what I did. Got in front, uh, chested it past him, and then from there I knew if I kept my composure, I could score there, and I, and I did. Yeah. I think that was the second game in the 23 unbeaten run. Um, yeah. They hadn't lost at home all season, so it was a real statement that comprehensive win, wasn't it? Yeah, I think uh, for us to go there and win, was it four, four, one, four, two. Four, four, two. For us to go there and win four two was was a big statement in our season, and then from there we just went on to um, go on a good run and stuff. So uh, yeah, it was a important game in our season. And how good were the fans that day? Because it was obviously it's Boxing Day, the yeah. weather was awful, but they had a great time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every time we play, play away, we always want to give a good performance for the fans and then especially on occasion like Boxing Day. So uh, it was worth, worth their way, worth their while. Free kick awarded and a yellow card. Stephen Johansson wasn't a great ball, but Chambers got there. Here's a chance for Ryan Sessing. Oh, get in! It's 2-2. Well, he's been waiting for his first goal, Jamie the Kid. It was just like the Ryan Session of last season, right place, right time, lovely touch, I think you'll find as well from Alexander Mitrovic. And you've got to give credit to Jamie. I've given him some stick so far, Callum Chambers, but he was involved early in that nicky possession back for Fulham. I suppose a bit of a bittersweet on that because we didn't really play as well as we can. We lost lost the game obviously, but a proud moment for you getting your first Premier League goal. Yeah, um <clears throat> you could see in the celebration where I wasn't too cheerful in the celebration because of the way the game was going. It was a very frustrating game for us and um again was disappointed to lose but um yeah in our personal side it was it was good to get my first Premier League goal. Um yeah hopefully in these last three games I can get some more. Mm-hmm. Obviously Cardiff um they can still stay up but we won't be giving doing them any favours the weekend will we? No of course not. We'll be focusing on ourselves. We said, um, of course, after relegation was confirmed, we would have finished the, the season strongly. And, and that's what we're going to continue to do. We've won the last two games. We're going to continue to uh, keep winning to the end of the season. And the attitude and the attitude of you boys in the last two matches, um, it's been such professional displays. And I suppose that's motivation to, to keep that standard as high as possible the last three matches. Yeah, I think, uh, that's, I think that's all credit to, to the players and to Scott, really. He's really changed it around the last two games, being more disciplined defensively. Uh, we're expecting more of each other now. Just building on from, to finish strongly now, build on for next season as well. So, um, yeah, trainers be sharp. Uh, our standards won't slip for the next game. We'll keep them high and try and win the game.